As we've been hearing earlier in the programme, Hearts have taken a significant step to securing their future. Our reporter Brian McLaughlin joins us live from Tynecastle. Brian. Yes, Jane, and I'm joined with a very happy man, indeed the manager of Heart of Midlothian, Gary Locke. Gary, first of all, when you heard the news this morning, what went through your mind? It was a huge relief. Um, you know, I spoke to, to Brian this morning and you know, obviously he said they've still got a little bit to go. I think the fact that, you know, it's been agreed uh, was a big bonus for myself and, and every Hearts fan alive, I would think. Give us an indication as to how tough the last 10 months have been, 10 months of turmoil. Yeah, it's been very difficult. You know, we've had a, a difficult season. Um, obviously, we were, everything that happened to us last summer, you know, it certainly wasn't pleasant seeing everyone losing their jobs and, uh, you know, they having to go with such a young team. Uh, but, you know, all we, all we could have done all season was focus on the football. The young players have, have improved. Uh, I think over the last couple of months you can see there's been a, a big improvement in the team. But the biggest battle we faced, I said all along, was, you know, surviving. And, uh, you know, I was absolutely delighted when I got that news this morning. Um, you know, I felt as if somebody had lifted a huge weight off my shoulders. Uh, but I'm just you know, really pleased for everyone at the football club, especially the fans, because uh, you know the effort they've put in to, to keep the club afloat has been remarkable. And uh, you know all that work looks as if it's going to pay off. And of course, you have been relegated to the Championship next year, but you can look on now with, with, with great hope, I would imagine. Yeah, well, we're still here. You know, um, I think if you ask most fans, uh, they'd be saying that doesn't matter what league we're in, as long as Hart and Melodian Football Club are still here and alive and kicking. And you know the news that we got this morning, as Brian says, he's still got a little bit bit to go. Uh, so we, it's important we don't get too carried away. But you know it'd be great to get you know, a full house here on Saturday. It'd be a great opportunity for myself and, and the players. Uh, you know to thank the fans. You know for all the backing that they've gave the football club through the, the last couple of difficult years. Thanks, Gary. Yes, uh, it's Ross County that come to Tynecastle on Saturday. I think it'll be quite an exciting afternoon. Thank you to Brian there. Well, there's only.